Hello everyone, Annie here and I decided to make this tutorial about hashes and arrays, how they are nested uh, within each other and how to retrieve um, an object. And just to make sure uh, I will not waste your time, so this is the final product. If this is not what you are looking for, you can just uh, turn this off. Otherwise, let's get started. So for this um, example, let's imagine a game where you can create different kind of characters. Our main hash will be called characters. So let's say our fir first key will be race and the values we will put in array because there is more than one value. Okay. And second key will be class. So let's keep it simple first and let's just display what we have. So here is our full hash. But what if we want to display just mystic? So in this case, first we need to target the key and then we need to target this array. So to target the key, first we need to use each loop to separate keys and values from each other. Now we have separated keys and values and to show this let's just display only keys. Okay. And I will comment this out. So as you can see in values, we have all arrays. So now all we need to do is count positions. So our mystic is on position number one. But first we need to target key. So how to do it? Um, we will just use a simple if statement. Okay, so let's say Mystic class has different professions. First one will be healer or magician. So what we have done now is that Mystic became a key for this hash. Okay, so this is now a separate hash, but at the same time, all this hash is position number one for this array. Now, if we want to display magician, First, let's count positions. So this is on position one again. And we will need to say the key to indicate the key always first. Okay. So since this is a hash, we will here say mystic. And now it will display both healer and magician. What's inside uh, mystic. And now all we need to do Okay. Now let's say we have more than one mystic. So let's say we have also alien mystic. So if we want to display alien magician or alien healer this time Okay, we will just change here the key and change position. Okay. Now let's say alien healer has some stats. So we will make alien healer a key and we will put some stats here. So it will be speed will be 400, not so fast. Casting speed will be 800 and attack power 900 okay oh actually no 300 to keep things realistic so um now this is becoming array but we are not done yet it needs curly brackets here 
and it needs curly brackets here. Okay, so now instead of just alien healer, we have full hash here. If we want to display, for example, casting speed, first we need to say key. So our key is alien healer and we need casting speed. Okay, now let's say we want also to display health of alien healer. So in this case, we will put here one more key and second key will be health. So this time let's Let's put it this way because we can, so we can either put this way or this way, right? And I'm having syntax error, so when you're ne nesting it's really easy to get lost here. So I think I'm missing one curly bracket here. Yes, so now this is empty because we are missing a key. Stats is a key and we need to put it here. Okay, now if we want to display HP for example, we will just change key here and put HP here. Now let's say since this is an alien healer, it has ability to change its HP randomly. So sometimes it goes 5,000, sometimes 6,000, sometimes 8,000. Now let's see. We have syntax error. So first thing when you have syntax error, when you are nesting arrays inside hashes, uh, you need to try curly brackets. That would be my recommendation. And it worked. So now if we want for example to display 6000, uh, this is on position 1, right? So you will just say key, key is in this case 4000 and then just give me position 1. So thank you for watching it, I hope you enjoyed and if you know other ways to display this uh, nested hashes and arrays, please let me know. I would really appreciate. Thank you.